I think it's time to look ahead in a segment we like to call Looking Ahead. <laughs> Divisional round. Divisional round. Yes. Yeah, big game uh, that I think nobody saw coming that is going to come. Vikings Niners. Well said. Yeah. Good Mark, intro. what are your thoughts? The Niners are at uh, home. They have home field advantage. The Vikings, you know, are looking strong. They're riding the momentum of Kurt. And that's the issue now is Kurt proved it finally. He's had, you know, a couple days to celebrate that. Yeah. And then really a couple days boiled down to what, like, 24 hours to be happy about that last game, his first time winning like a huge playoff game. You can't sit and in that too much, huh? He's already moving well, on. Well, it's the 24 hour rule win, lose, or draw, it's over. And now it's do it again. Now he's reset the bar for himself. Yeah. And now people are expecting something. And don't forget, this thing's a meritocracy. So what have you done for me lately? He goes out there and lays an egg. It's everything they were saying at the beginning of the season. Oh, we're overpaying him. Oh, wow. That's just the way it is. It's just, yeah. Oh, people, yeah. people will turn on a dime oh, my if he God. doesn't deliver. Of course. Um, Especially he goes out and lays an egg, he'll get murdered. The Niners' D is, um, I think, kind of playing at an all-time level right now. How do you think that uh, front four is going to fare against? Uh, I mean, similar Cousins? to similar to the Saints. I mean, yeah. they applied pressure to Cousins. He looked uncomfortable at times. He's not the best at extending plays. He's pretty. He's solid in the pocket, right? Good pocket awareness and all that. But he's not Mahomes, Watson, Russell Wilson, these kind of guys that can get out and create and just make something out of nothing. So if it's Bosa and he's having one of his type of days, come on, man. It could be it could be tough sledding for those guys. How do you prep if you're uh, the Niners D to attack? Is that what it is? Basically just apply pressure and then hope he crumbles? You got to make him uncomfortable. He's a pure pocket passer, right? So you got to get him off the spot. Like uh, – it can't be a, a scripted five step, one hitch, deliver the ball. You just have to disrupt that rhythm and try and do it constantly, which means you're going to have to take away the play action game, force him into a drop back game, and make him beat you consistently. Continue to stack completions and don't screw it up. Force him to complete balls outside the numbers. Just make it really hard on him. Who's got to show up uh, more for the Vikings to win, Cousins or uh, Dalvin Cook? Ooh, got a good run game. Takes so much pressure off your quarterback. It does, huh? Oh. I mean, you just – the O-line gets excited because they don't want to pass block. Bottom line, O-line don't like pass blocking. Yeah. I did it for two years in high they school. Just, it was a fucking bitch. It's terrible. You're yeah. just a sitting duck. These guys are so athletic now. Yeah. What they want to do is run off the ball, fire off the ball, go drive somebody back five yards, watch their running back make a nice cut, and And you go. eat clock, They love right? that. Yeah. yeah, it's just – you just control the game. And if they can't do that, it's going to be a long day. Long day for the Vikings. Emmanuel Sanders, beast. <laughs> Huge, yeah, huge acquisition. What a pickup. He's been one of the best. I was with him literally for an off season in Denver, dude. He's right? one of the best I've ever been around. No way. Oh, easily. Incredible body control, incredible spatial awareness, great hands, and can just flat out fly. He can just fly, dude. And ultimate gamer. He's good teammate. Good teammate. Yeah. Tough dude. And he he had something to prove. He felt like after he hurt his, I think it was his Achilles last year or something. But he had something to prove. He wanted. <clears throat> Another shot somewhere. It didn't look like it was going to happen in Denver. Yeah. Boom. John Lynch knows from being in Denver about him and picked him up. That was a huge pickup for them. And it's big for off. their offense. Big for Garoppolo. He yeah. loves throwing him. Yeah. I don't know what the Niners' home record uh, is was this year, but I have to assume that just going off of home field advantage in the playoffs is better than not. And for the Vikings to win two in a row on the road, I mean, that's tough, tough for any dude. team, right? It's tough, man. It's just taxing. The flight there, the flight back. It's been a long year. An emotional win against the Saints. I mean, yeah. last last second play, like that wears on you. You know, you got to get a ton of rest. You got to go play in a foreign environment, adverse atmosphere. I mean, it's it's a lot. There's a lot stacked up against them. Over under on how many times Cousins gets sacked? He's going to take at least Be three honest. sacks. Thirty? At least three. Three. I'm going to say six. I'm gonna Ooh. I'm gonna price is right one dollar that shit. Ooh. I'm gonna double it double it up six sacks. Whoa! And all by Bosa. You heard it here first. Where's my you heard it here first, Cam? Which Cam? Which? 